hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time to my channel hi i'm shiana i create all different types of beauty fashion and lifestyle content so if that interests you make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below so guys for today's video i am showing you how i did my hair and I just wanted to do something different. So if you are interested in seeing how I straightened my hair as well as trimmed my ends, I try not to use products that will weigh my hair down. So if your hair is anything like mine, a lot of the products that I use, you can either purchase from Ulta or you can get from your local stylist. Without further ado, let's hop into tutorial. I've been using my Nia the Lock God, well, me and my girlfriends, um, Nia the Lock God's Hydrating Mist and Oil for hair growth um, and moisture. It smells so good. This is what it looks like. I picked it up over the Black Friday Christmas special. If you haven't used her products, I highly recommend. So my hair is sectioned. I just kind of did this while I was on the phone because I, I needed to utilize my time. I'm going to go ahead and put my deep conditioner on and then I'm gonna go to the gym with the deep conditioner on because I just feel like the longer it sits, the better. One of my favorite deep conditioners, Babasu, yeah. And mint deep conditioner, it says it's for, it's a protein and moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair. Let's moisturize this hair up, okay? Um, it's best to keep your ends nourished and moisturize as they are the driest and the oldest part of hair in your head. So you wanna make sure that you're taking good care of your ends as well as your scalp, but your scalp should be oiled and your ends should be moisturized. So I'm just retwisting my hair again. Now that it's detangled, I'm just putting this all over. I think I straighten my hair like once, once a year. <laughs> Cause this is the time I, well, about the time that I straightened my hair the year before. It was more like December of the year prior to going into January, but it was definitely straight in January. Um, I just love the way this stuff smells, the mint, oh my God. It just, it's refreshing. I'm really excited for the new year and all the things that I want to accomplish this year. I feel like I've been trying to make better business decisions already so far and making more opportunities for myself because, you know, if I want this lifestyle, I have to work towards it, whether if it's gonna happen today, tomorrow, or the next day, like my therapist said, if I want something, I have to commit to knowing that I want it. And so I know that I want this and I'm gonna keep going at it. That's my mental right now. I just have to change and make a few shifts in order to get there my hair is literally the world's finest like look at this section this is a whole section of hair and it's just thin i have very thin thin curls but that's okay but i really want to be more impulsive this year and do more things for me and just making myself happy is the biggest goal. I feel like my edges always need to be deep conditioned. I'm mad I gotta go to the, I gotta go outside with a wet head, but oh well. Gosh, I really hate that my hair is single strand knots. Like that is the biggest issue of being natural. 
feel like I got a lot more breakage on the side. I literally had those locks in over a year ago and now my hair still ain't wanting to cooperate. Like this is breakage from, from that. So I have to be very careful with my hair. It's short on this side too, but it's like, it's kind of part of my baby hair in a sense, which is why I'm sure it broke, but it's just my hair in the front is extremely fine. Um, if you are natural, please get to know your hair, like know what sections and densities and porosity and all that type of stuff. Like get to know your hair, get to know what products work for your hair. Keep trying stuff because essentially you're never gonna know what works until it works. So like for me, I know that I can't do faux locks on my natural hair. Like if I do, I have to only keep them in for like three weeks. And to me, that's a pointless hairstyle. I'm just gonna put a shower cap on this and then also my scarf because I ain't going to the gym with no shower cap on. So I'm back from the gym. <laughs> I need to uh, go ahead and rinse my deep conditioner out. If you're new to my channel and haven't seen me blow out and straighten my hair before, I do already have a full in-depth tutorial of this process. I will have that video linked up at the top um, above so that way you can go and watch it if that's something that interests you. But I'm about to go shampoo my hair out quickly show you what shampoo and conditioner I use. It is the AG um, Smooth Line. They stopped carrying this at Ulta, so I will have to start getting this from my professional salon um, beauty store. So I'm almost low. I'm thinking about switching to the fast food line. Um, this is just what I've been using to straighten my hair forever. I'm gonna shampoo my hair and I'll come back. Okay guys, so my hair is freshly washed. I'm about to go ahead and blow dry. These are the products I'm going to be using. The leave-in from Redken and then the all, the oil for all. It helps to sleek my hair out when I'm blow drying. So let's get this started. I've already got my hair sectioned in two. I don't want to put too much product in my hair. And I just focused this on my ears. Right, now that my first section is done, I'm just gonna twist this up. Definitely need to trim my ends, honey. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera and I'll come back so we can straighten this.
it's time to flat iron all this lovely hair. <laughs> all right, I'm going to section this back off. I already have my flat iron on. It's preheated um, to 410. The hair underneath is a lot shorter than the rest of my hair due to I had an undercut back in cosmetology school. Um, and it's grown out, of course, but I refuse to even out my haircut. I don't know why, I just, I'm particular like that. I've just trimmed my hair um, as much as it's needed. I haven't necessarily like went through and didn't even cut. I may today, who knows, I just hadn't decided yet. Okay y'all, so the back is pretty much done. My hair has grown a lot. <laughs> it's literally down, it's down my back now. I'm gonna trim, of course, due to the fact of it's a little uneven and my ends are, of course, fried a bit. So I'm going to trim a little bit, not much, just because my hair looks pretty healthy. It's just kind of a, a quick snip on the ends. Um, but I'm so proud of my growth. Y'all know I always straighten my hair once a year, so this is this is exciting. The good thing about having <laughs> finer hair is it don't take as long to do your shit. All right guys, so my hair is done. I need to trim my ends. So I'm going to basically do that really quick. Do y'all see that? So my ends really aren't that bad. I'm truly just going to give myself a trim because if I do anything more than that, I will cut my hair. <laughs> We, the best thing for me is to section my hair off into sections where I can, um, I can have a little bit more leeway to see, not a cutting guide, cause I don't really need a cutting guide. I just need to trim these dead ends. Cause typically, like I said, I don't keep my hair straight. I'm trying to like get up against this white wall so I can see my guide. Cause if I get up a little bit against color, I can't see much. So this gives me a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Looky there, nice and healthy. This is for entertainment purposes only. I don't recommend cutting your hair at home. I'm a licensed professional. So just FYI, don't be doing this shit to yourself. <laughs> Unless you know what you're doing or you just want to have a bad hair experience. Don't do this at home. Oh, I just love it. 
My hair looks so good. I look like my mother. <laughs> my hair. Do y'all see that? That's all dead. Well, that's all breakage and split ends. So I'm gonna trim all of that. Not all of this, but y'all can see the lot of demarcation. Like it just divots out. I'm trying to keep my hair as loose as possible so I don't have a tight grip on placement. So um, right now I'm just kind of laying my edges. I'm using some edge control from TGIN. I'm so excited. I don't know why I don't straighten my hair more often. I just don't because it's so much work that goes into it. But guys, this is this is the finished look. What do you think? Tell me guys. Did you enjoy this tutorial? Did you learn something? Leave me a comment in the section down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.